late bloomer in regards to everyone else in the aviation. It was my 17th birthday and my stepfather took me up flying and that was it. I caught the bug. At my local FBO, they were always saying that UND CFIs are worth their weight in gold. So I figured I might as well give it a shot. Hi, my name is Meta Langer. I am a student at University of North Dakota studying commercial aviation. I came on a tour in April of 2012 and I decided that it was perfect. I did a UND aerospace. I only looked at this side of the campus. I didn't even bother going to the east side and uh, it was right. It just clicked. It kind of opened the door to everything. It allowed me to have self-confidence, I guess. My CFI just said, listen, relax. You're flying the plane. Now do a soft field takeoff. And so he helped me with the soft field takeoff and showed me that you could, you could do a soft field takeoff almost indefinitely, just gaining airspeed. And then finally, when you're done with it, you just skyrocket eventually. And then with the landing, you have to come in and basically grease in the main so gently and then keep the nose up as, as long as you can and then finally let it down really gracefully. And once you can master letting it down gracefully, then you're good. The relevancy of knowing any system in an aircraft is being able to make a decision when something is in error, when something's going wrong. Fault is my 324 systems professor, of course. Abilities was not a question, attitude was not a question, but the question was, are you going to engage in this? And she chose to. He basically <laughs> would single me out in class. He's the one who got me into thinking, hey, I can actually learn systems, and hey, this is not as daunting as I thought it would be. Meta did very well with the class. In fact, she was one of my best students in that class just because of her application in the classroom. I was staying after class trying to learn what, what a magneto is. I catch a lot of ridicule because of old technology. He asked me to hold them, and of course, I had heard the stories, but I didn't think it would be that bad. So I did. It's old technology, but it, it's very relevant. It works. So what it does is isolate the engine from the electrical system, gives it its own ignition. And he cranked it. And my whole upper body kind of just stiffened, and I screamed. When you have 20,000 volts go through your body, you tend to know it. Uh, it's not as scary as it may sound. It's about what static arc does when you walk across the carpet and shake somebody's hand. So. And I, I, I tensed up and I dropped them and it was just a rush. I picked them up and had to do it again. <laughs> so it shocked me twice with the Magneto. It's, it's an experience. It's not just a piece of knowledge in your mind. And the more experiences we can get hand on, the further we'll understand that element of a system.